back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video has been an email request for a little bit over a month now. Why you should never, ever, ever, ever argue with a narcissist. And you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. You know that old saying, anything you say can and will be used against you by a narcissist? Yeah, that. If that isn't a perfect description for what it's like dealing with someone who believes their own damn lies, and before you figure it out, before the inconsistent behavior starts making even more sense to you, not even until you actually get out of the relationship, can you even recognize what the narcissist's goal was in the first place? And when you go from you are the most special and wonderful individual in this world that I've ever met to a mortal enemy in the relationship, it can take you years to recognize that what you were experiencing was not normal. And think about this for a second. A healthy relationship should allow you to work through conflict, right? It should allow you to both be able to say your piece, right? And then make peace, right? It should not end in the silent treatment for days or weeks if you disagree about something. It shouldn't turn into them belittling you, calling you names, shaming you, and making you feel like a worthless piece of garbage. That ain't love. That's them reinforcing the trauma bond that's been created. And yes, each time you give in to speaking during their silent treatment, and each time y'all break up and then come right back, only to turn right back around to the same monster that they were before the argument. And when we argue and fight, and we consistently try to defend ourselves, try to prove some magical point, it is literally pointless. And the thing you realize after the relationship is that the arguing back and forth was never about you. It was never even the need to be right. It was the narcissist insatiable appetite to get you worked up, to get you angry beside yourself and going crazy trying to make sense of their behavior. That is the supply that a narcissist gets off on, making you feel confused, so beside yourself with frustration that it creates anxiety and stress enough to keep you around longer. And did you hear what I just said? To keep you around. And the longer you fight, plead, try to find answers and don't leave, it's just more work you have to do after you get out. Because in the end, we are the ones left with the underlying health issues from the stress, the PTSD, the healing, that trauma that you endured during the relationship. And there is no substitute in getting that time you invested back, is there? Some people wanna stay for the kids, for the money, for the comfort that's been created. But in the end, staying in dysfunction does nothing but damage us even further, causing us not to even recognize peace, not look for help, and not seek out therapy and coaching so you can start getting your life back in order. So you have a choice. You can elect for change, you can elect for choosing peace and sanity over the daily back and forth, the constant manufactured ass arguments and fights, because I'd say after all of the chaos you endured, you owe that to yourself, right? Or not. Nah. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and become an official part of a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.